Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the man whose mother still thinks he should try to get a real job. Dear folks, I got this great job in a gas station. I don't want to say how much I'm getting, but let's just say it's a lot. I'm enclosing $2. That's a good boy. Jim Blassie Game, the small business advocate. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being part of my day. Always a pleasure to continue to be with you, especially when I get a chance to bring our good friend Ray Keating back on the show. Ray is a longtime member of our Brain Trust and uh, and going all the way back to, golly, what, uh, yeah, back in the previous century, the last millennia. Yeah, he's that old. That's right. <laughs> Ray is the Chief Economist for the Small Business and Entrepreneurship Council, outstanding writer, the... Uh, the author of a number of books and several new novels that he's produced in the last couple of years. And uh, uh, he's our good friend, Ray Keating. Welcome back to the show. How are you, Jim? Doing great. It's good to have you back. Remind me, I'm on the road today, so I don't have all your books with me. But uh, Warrior Monk was, was, was not the last, that's not the last of your novels, right? Oh, no, absolutely not. And by the way, don't refer to me being with you since the last century. That just makes me feel really tired and old. But The, p- the previous millennia, actually. <laughs> anyway, yes, my, my Pastor Stephen Grant novels. The first one was Warrior Monk, and then I have uh, one called Root of All Evil, uh, which actually many of your listeners would appreciate because it has, uh, you know, it's a thriller, but it's got a lot of uh, interesting points made about money and business and uh, even a little bit about education so there's some good stuff in there. And then the last one is an advent for religious liberty. So we get into the religious liberty yeah. issue that's been flying around. So and I forgot uh, about Chuck. There's also Chuck, too, right? Chuck versus the business world, which is – There you go, that one, too. So check those out, folks, <laughs> wherever you find good books by Ray Keating. Ray, um, for all of these years – in fact, I'm pretty sure the first time you were on my show back in 99 – we started talking about your your uh, your business tax index, your your ranking of states by the way they treat small businesses and entrepreneurship with regard to their their policies and tax systems, right? Yeah, well, the the, the big the big study. You're absolutely right. We've been uh, doing since my goodness the mid '90s, which is the Small Business Survival Index, and then as a spinoff, the last few years we've done this business tax index, which just zeroes in. This is on- just this was just focusing on tax, right? Right. Zeroes in on tax issues, and the, and the most recent one is just out. We've got 21 different measures that we uh, that we rank the states on. Right. And um, the the folks, this is this is the ranking based on how they how how small businesses fare in those states, how much the government, the state governments, take from them in order to in order to to run their governments, and and how many in which ones leave people alone. The, um, the the states have – what are the different ways that states can tax people besides sales besides sales tax and income tax? Well, you hit the, the – obviously, income tax we have in there. We, we uh, include the, the state personal income tax, the corporate income tax. Uh, we also look at where the states are in capital gains taxes, um, whether or not they put an additional tax on S corporations. Some of the states do that, believe it or not. Right. Uh, property, property taxes, um, a whole host of, uh, consumption based taxes, unemployment, inventory, sometimes some of them have inventory tax. Well, they do, but the the problem with this in terms of when you get down to some of the tax, we have to be able to compare all the 50 states. So, um, some, some of these levies, it's easy to get measures on and some it's, it's a little more difficult, but, um, we do a pretty good job. It's pretty comprehensive. Um, we you know, also one look of the at things their, that I think is a tax, but you probably isn't in your in in this included here, are the are the cities in inside of states that have a living wage or an increased minimum wage. That's not officially a tax, but it's 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 essentially a tax, isn't it? You are correct, and it's funny that you mentioned that, Jim, because one of the things on my very lengthy to do list this year for SB Council is we're going to look at the largest cities, and we're going to do a, a similar type of ranking for large cities in the U.S. and 
And that's certainly one of the issues we're going to be looking at. So you are ahead of the curve. I get this all the time. People take my great ideas and turn it, you know, they try to claim it for themselves. I, you know, it's okay, Ray. Go ahead and you can run with that. I am, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not even, he's not even embarrassed about it, folks. Where's the shame? You got it. I am, I am shameless. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, no. I mean, and, and again, I'm glad you're doing that because because that would not, you would not be able to find a methodology to include that in here. But that's got to be part of the big picture, doesn't it? Oh yeah, and and, and our uh, and, and by the way, on our bigger survival index, we do have whether the state uh, now the state imposes a, a minimum wage that's higher than the federal minimum wage. So we try to get at that. But you're absolutely right. When you look at some of the things going on at the city level, you know, we tend to think of oh, federal, obviously those big issues, and then the state. But you go all the way down to localities, they do some nasty things against small businesses. Right, exactly. Hey, hey Ray, hold on to that thought. We're going to take a quick break, folks. When we come back, we're going to get into the stack ranking of these states. Who's number one? Who's number 50? Who's in the middle? After these messages with Ray Keating, I'm Jim Blassingham. Stay with me. We'll be right back. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.